Greetings, this is Superintendent A. Russell Hughes with your November monthly update. You might can tell that I am standing in front of the Supervisor of Elections office. You will meet our new Supervisor of Elections, Mr. Ryan Messer, before we end this video. I'm wearing my red, white, and blue. I'm standing in front of this veteran, Veterans uh, Directory, which I believe my father-in-law was supposed to be up here. I'm going to look for him. My father was a veteran. My brother uh, was a veteran. And I want to just say thank you during this month of November for all the veterans that make it possible for us, number one, to have school in a safe and free country. It would not be possible without you. I want to thank every veteran and every person uh, serving in the military armed forces right now. Thank you from the bottom of our heart and uh, representing 12,000 students, 1,400 employees, a community that loves freedom. Thank you to all of our veterans for serving. Maybe uh, one of your community members or one of your family members are on this wall. We honor you today. And during this Veterans Day month, we got a lot of things going on in schools. I'm proud to say that in Walton County, our community, our principals, our teachers teach our students what it is to have this civic opportunity in this country, in this great county. Thank you to all veterans. We'll talk a little more about that um, um, uh, later. But let me go ahead and give it to you like this. It is our civic duty to vote. I've done my voting today. I have my I Voted sticker on. I want you to understand how important it is to do so. In Walton County, we rank number three when it comes to U.S. history. That's important. We want our children to understand what it is to live in these United States. We want our children to understand what it is to operate in this free society. We appreciate it. We love it. And we're teaching children how to do it. We rank number nine when it comes to civics in the state of Florida. There's 67 counties. Again, we rank number nine when it comes to civics. We rank number three when it comes to U.S. history. That's not the case everywhere, but we're proud to say it here in Walton County. And we understand, yes, we're number three in the state of Florida and that comes with being responsible with what it is to appreciate our veterans to know what it is to serve to know what it is to do your civic duty like Superintendent Hughes and I hope everybody else did vote these people died and they fought fought so that we might have these freedoms and these privileges we thank God for them thank you to every family that allowed their uh, family to serve in this great country so that we might have the school I want to go ahead and do a few things here Let, some dates to remember Tuesday, November 8th, second nine weeks, first semester midterm report distribution. Look for something about four every four and a half weeks from schools, report cards, or uh, nine weeks uh, reports. Look for those. Friday, November 11th, I mentioned this already, Veterans Day, there is no school. Make sure you support these communities, these municipalities that are honoring our veterans. They deserve it. Never shall we forget. Harry Truman said, our debt to the heroic men and valiant women in the service of our country can never be repaid. They have earned our undying gratitude. And again, we say thank you. November 21st through November 25th, you know this is Thanksgiving holiday. Spend time with your family. To our employees, we want you to go and enjoy some rest so you can get back and we can get ready before the other holidays come about. Thankfulness, aware, appreciative of a benefit. We are grateful. We want you to be aware of how thankful we are, not only for our veterans, for our community, for our employees, for our children, all the tiers of leadership in the Walton County School District, bus drivers, secretaries, administrative staff, we are thankful for you. I want to also say this, congratulations to school board members, Mr. William Bill Eddins Jr., Ms. Kim Kirby, and Mr. Jason Catalano on being re-elected for another term. They're going to be sworn in uh, November 22nd. We're, we're excited about that. Excited for you all. Congratulations and God bless you all. Uh, sports, I want to say this. When you come to the Walton County School District, we talk about the whole child. We, we know that extracurricular activities are important. Sports are important. Lego League is important. Chorus and band, all of those, all those opportunities, extracurricular opportunities are important to us. And let me show you how we're doing. Walton Middle School, undefeated season and conference champions um, in, in, in basketball. All Walton County High School football teams are 
uh, are in the first round of state playoffs. I want to say Walton Middle School. Let me rephrase that. They were undefeated in football. So congratulations to our Walton Middle School uh, team uh, and coaches. Congratulations to you. Listen to this. Cross country teams advance to state. South Walton High School and Paxson School. Listen. The most southern part of our school to the most northern part of our school are succeeding, our schools are succeeding in Walton County in extracurricular. We believe in that. The whole child is important to us. Congratulations to those teams. South Walton High School made it to the regional finals. Congratulations to the Hawks. Again, extracurricular is so important. Walton High School girls, go, girls golf player, Rihanna Fountain, competed in regional tournament as a district placeholder. Congratulations, Rihanna. We are proud of you and have been supporting you from the, from the get-go. Congratulations. I want to talk about Allstate Elementary Music. Hear this. Congratulations to 21 elementary students selected from Dune Lakes, Freeport, West Defuniac, and Van R. Butler. Again, extracurricular the whole child music is important you learn math through music i played tuba in middle school and i'm so excited about that played guitar throughout my young adult years in a gospel group so excited about that it builds character it builds responsibility it gives you a variety of opportunities to be successful and share the gift understand that we appreciate it listen to this hot off the press two things one schools of excellence Freeport High School, South Walton High School, Seaside Neighborhood School. Again, schools of excellence designated by the state of Florida, Freeport High School, South Walton High School, Seaside Neighborhood School as well. I want to say this, hot off the press, we have also been designated as a high performing school district. That's right, high performing school district. How do we get that designation? We're number three in the state of Florida when it comes to grades and assessment. We understand that we are an A-plus school district, but when we call a high uh, designated as a high-performing school district, that's based on our audit reports, how we spend and utilize taxpayer dollars, and then on our class size reduction. Making sure the ratio of teachers and students remain in a way that is effective and functional for the good experience and great experience and learning for students, and then for the opportunity for teachers to be successful with the right ratio so they can meet all the needs that are in a classroom every day throughout our 180 days of education. Listen to this, union negotiations, I want to say congratulations to our union uh, and negotiators who represented our instructional um, um, unit and our support unit. We finalize negotiations. New minimum base teacher salary is $50,000. Hear that again, $50,000. I think we're the first uh, district in the panhandle to arrive at $50,000. We're proud of that. We want to say congratulations to our union. Congratulations to those who negotiated for the board and myself. You made it happen. Thank you for the great collaboration that's happening in Walton County when it comes to student success and teacher, or our teacher and employee work environment. Hear this. Since 2016, we have had an increased salary, some recurring and some not recurring, 61.76%. That's phenomenal. We have rose to the occasion. We have risen to the occasion to make sure children have what they need. We're giving A-plus bonuses to make sure that those teachers who are working hard every day, those bus drivers who are working hard every day, know that we appreciate them. And we could not ever pay them enough. But we are glad to say that this compensation that we're doing is effective and is going in the right places because we're headed to number one. You just hold on. We're going to get there. I want to say this, likewise our support professionals, we had a step plus $1.30 per hour salary increase. Congratulations to our support personnel. Salary increase since 2016 is 65.61%. That is some non-recurring and some recurring funds. We want to say congratulations. You've been working hard for children. You've been working hard for citizens in this county. We all know that it's been reported. People say the number one reason people are moving to Walton County is because of the schools and the system. We're glad to report that. We are glad to say that we're trying to take care of our employees, take care of those who work with children, our greatest commodity. Thank you so much, congratulations. I wanna say this, we still have employment opportunities in Walton County. We have good guys, good people with guns in school. We're gonna protect our children and we're gonna make sure that anyone that threatens know that we are ready to defend our children, make sure they're safe every day 
internal threats or external threats. So we have guardians. We have two guardian positions that are available. You can go online and apply for those right now. I hope we have some veterans in the area that apply. There's a lot of things that you have to meet to make sure that you are credentialed to meet this need uh, and, and, and have this job. So there's a process because we want the best there are around our children. Make sure they stay safe around our employees. Make sure they're comfortable when it comes to safety. I want to say this we are still looking for some bus drivers I did have some take me up on the last offer to come and try to get their credentials to be a bus driver they're still available we have full-time bus driver jobs we have part-time hours we will pay all your benefits so if you're retired even if you're not retired and you want to come in and look at a seven and a half hour position or a, a, a part-time job with full-time benefits consider being a bus driver in the Walton County School District listen to this we need you we need great people get, get, greeting our children, getting on the bus, making sure they get home safely. So if you are interested, let us know. We want you to be a part of our team. Parents, I want to say this to you right before I introduce uh, Mr. Messer. Beware. What we have now, and you got to be careful, I've said this several different times when we talk about THC and we talk about candy, uh, that is not for children uh, consumption. Be careful. Their, their snack safety, their snack eat, their snack gummies, cookies that are being sold in our area that are harmful to students. They have THC in them. They're, they're, you can get them at some of the local stores. I want you to do this. Make sure you know what your minor child is purchasing. Make sure you pay attention to what your children are purchasing online. We've done a study. I've had it done through my office. We can go online and get things that are legal for children to have and without verifying their age. You make sure parents help us out. We, we do expulsions. We do uh, suspensions for those who bring things to school that are not safe for children. So I'm telling you parents, help us out. I'm letting you know, we went to the grocery store. Uh, we went to stores this weekend, somebody from my staff, and they found things that looked the same, looked that they're appropriate for children, look like candy, look like gummies, look like cookies. They're not for children uh, to consume. I want to just put that on your radar. Be alert, uh, be vigilant, help us out because if they bring it to, bring it to school, we're going to deal with it because we're going to keep children safe internally and externally. Help us out with that. I appreciate you all. I want to introduce you all now. He's allowed us to come to his office area hallway. This is our new supervisor of elections. I want to invite him into the picture. Mr. Ryan Messer, congratulations. Thank, thank you me. for letting us do it here and thank you yeah, for joining in. I know this is a busy day. It is actually voting day today and he's taking time out of his schedule with us. We appreciate Absolutely. you, sir. Yeah, big day today. Uh, yeah, so like today's election day, November 8th. Uh, general election, a uh, big day around the whole country, nationwide, everyone's voting. Uh, a lot of big seats up, uh, all of Congress, all the congressmen, 435 seats are up today, uh, 35 Senate seats, uh, 36 governor seats, and then of course here locally in the state, we've got uh, governor, attorney general, CFO, uh, judges, constitutional amendments, lots of things. Um, so. I'm happy to hear, proud to hear about our great civics, uh, civic scores in Walton County. Uh, of course, we work with the school district uh, to uh, make sure our uh, students are, are pre-registered at 16. They can do that. A lot of people don't know that, but pre-registering to vote at 16 and 17. And uh, we want to make sure they're ready to go when they turn 18. Uh, they, they, uh, we send them a card on their 18th birthday. and. And have them ready to go and uh, you know we're proud that we got some good civics teachers that are preparing these students for for whenever the time comes that they can be uh, active citizens engaged in the process so, absolutely and, and we're going to look to uh, come later on in the school this year and give all the students an opportunity to uh, well the, the 16 year olds an opportunity to uh, register or pre-register or get any questions answered about voting that they have. So Great. Well, thank you. It. Thank you so much. And I want to say congratulations to thank you. We are proud to have you in this position. The voters uh, spoke clearly that you should be here and we're glad, glad to uh, uh, continue our collaboration. Well, it's, it's definitely my, my honor and privilege to, and, and I, I look forward to, to serving our county. It's, it's, it's been a privilege to grow up here and, and I hope I, I do everybody 
Uh, a good job. Okay. Wonderful. Appreciate it. Let me say this, and he mentioned this. When I was a principal, every year I would have the supervisor of elections to come and talk to students like you talked about when they were 16 years old. Let them pre-register to vote. We believe that this is key to our democracy. We believe this is key for students to understand early. So thank you, Mr. Master, for continuing that. Thank you for saying it, that we're going to continue that. People really, really don't know the collaboration and work we do to make sure children understand how important their civic duty is living in this free country and especially in the county in right. which you are the supervisor of elections. We're definitely blessed to, to live here where we live. It's Absolutely. A great place. Absolutely. And, and I'm good, glad to hear you're a tuba player too. I oh, was a tuba player. Wonderful. <laughs> Look at there. You see what music does? Yeah. The great people in great places in Walden County. Thank you all so much. This is the end of our uh, broadcast. God bless you all. Have a wonderful month. Enjoy Thanksgiving.